I gotta start this off by saying, on the bike, I tend to get lost kind of a lot. That's not totally unintentional. I put myself in some situations where I know that's going to happen. I'm okay with that happening for the most part. I enjoy dealing with getting myself out of those situations. How I get into those situations in the first place is I'll build or find a course, upload it onto your computer like a Garmin, which is what I've been using for the last several years. This is essentially the Nokia brick of bike computers. I personally love riding with a computer. I like knowing how far I've gone, how high I've climbed, what direction I'm going. If I'm in an area that I have no idea where I'm going, I can have a course loaded on this thing and I can do a whole ride and not have to stop and look at the phone and see if it's this turn or that turn. Yes, this thing does a lot of stuff, but it's also super glitchy. There has been no other options for bike computers, so everybody has just dealt with it. And Garmin is kind of like a really crappy PC that has a very confusing interface. It works, it definitely works, but there's a new kid on the block. Define comprehensive. As an adjective, it means complete, including all or nearly all elements or aspects of something. You gotta download the app. Scan companion, wow. This thing also connects to the Wi-Fi. You think it has Instagram? automatically logs you in to the different ride tracking sites so I don't have to hook this thing up to the computer then to upload a ride. It just needs to be on Wi-Fi and it'll do it. Oh, it's flipped. Motherfuckers. So the Garmin has its wings going this direction. The Wahoo has it going this direction. That may be a pain in the ass on the bikes, but I'll find out. I figured I'd take this thing on a little test today. One thing that's really cool about this element is that it syncs up with your Strava and Ride With GPS account. So any course that you have are automatically synced from your phone to the device. So you have a library of all your rides. Loading courses on the Garmin was a major pain in the butt. <laughs> So on Garmin they call them courses, with Wahoo they call them routes. So I'm testing uh, the route that I built this morning. There's a section of that I've never been able to successfully navigate. So this will be a good test. The one caveat is I might be very ill prepared for the terrain with this bike. And the little LEDs tell you which direction you gotta turn. Works in the rain. What's happening out here? That's how you know you're off course. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous about this extension. From what I remember, it's some pretty rugged stuff. Skinny tires, winter, raining, excuses, car coming. because I have no idea if there's gonna be some house or property or something that I'm gonna crawl up on and spook somebody. And this thing keeps chirping at me. I gotta get out of here. That was a little nerve wracking. Now I know this is impassable. All day. Just sinks automatically. Two main takeaways from this thing. First, 
this thing is so easy to use. It's very intuitive. Anything you want to do with it is easy to figure out and easy to do. That's massive. The Garmin still does everything I need it to do. While this is an upgrade, it was not 100% necessary. But I'm glad that I have it. And the other thing, the mounting wings on the back of these guys. The fact that they're not the same is a major pain in the ass if you have multiple bikes and multiple mounts. Because what that means is if you upgrade, you have to get new mounts for all of your bikes. If you only run one bike, you're chillin'. Because this guy comes with a bar mount and you'd never know the difference. So I hope you guys found that informative. If there's any questions you have about this thing, just hit them up in the comments. Like if you like it, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys on the other side.